Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. I'm Mr. Tom. You probably remember that we've been talking about two column addition and subtraction without regrouping. Before we start talking about regrouping, there's a set of tools I'd like to share with you that helps us understand place value and regrouping. That set of tools is called Base 10 Blocks. Here we go. Here's what Base 10 Blocks look like. The littlest ones are called bits. These are called rods or longs. These are called flats. And this one is a cube. Each shape stands for a certain number. Each bit is a 1. 5 bits is 5. 8 bits is 8. 3 bits is 3. When we look at a place value chart, numbers shown by bits are placed in the ones place. Each long is 110. It is also the same as 10 ones or 10 bits. If we stack 10 bits on top of each other, we have a long. One long is 10. 30 is three longs. Seven longs is 70. We can skip count by tens when we have a group of longs. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. The number of longs goes here in a place value chart. This is a flat. A flat stands for 100. If we have 10 longs and push them together, we get a flat. 10 tens is 100. You can also see 100 bits in a flat. Three flats equals 300. We have six flats here. We can skip count by 100 to see what the value is. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. The number of flats goes here in a place value chart. And this is a cube. If we take 10 flats and put them on top of each other, we have a cube. A cube is 1,000. 10 flats, or 10 hundreds, is 1,000. Two cubes equals 2,000. When we have cubes, we can skip count by 1,000. We have four cubes here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. The number of cubes goes here on a place value chart. Let's show a number using base 10 blocks. We can try 567. We can start with the hundreds. We have five hundreds. That means we'll have five flats. One, two, three, four, five. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Next, we can look at the tens place. We have a six in the tens place. Six tens. That means we will have six longs. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And in the ones place, we have a seven. That's seven bits 
or seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's what the number 567 looks like in base 10 blocks. Let's review what we've learned. Today, we looked at base 10 blocks. There are four shapes, bits, longs, flats, and cubes. A bit shows one, a long shows 10, a long is 10 bits, 10 ones. A flat shows 100. A flat is 10 longs, 10 tens. A cube shows 1,000. A cube is 10 flats, 10 hundreds. We can show numbers using base 10 blocks. Fantastic work, everyone. Now we have an idea of what base 10 blocks are for. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help, so please give this a thumbs up. Thanks so much for being here. Take care and remember, it never hurts to be nice.